Hi, welcome to Physics 1101 Physics 1. I'm Paul Francis, the course convener, and in this video I'd like to briefly introduce you to how the course is going to work. Now this is what's called a flipped course. What does that mean? In a traditional university course, you go to lectures, sit quietly, take notes, and then you go home and do the homework, work on problems. Now, educational research shows it's actually quite the wrong way around. In a flipped class, we do things the other way around. Instead of going to lectures, you watch lectures in videos or by reading text in your notes at home, and then you come into class to work on the problems. And that's where we can help you the most. Educational research shows that flipped classrooms generally improve student grades by about 15%, so it's well worth doing it. So what will you do in a typical week? Well, we'll start off by coming to one of the workshops. And in the workshops, we'll give you difficult, challenging, real-world physics problems that you'll work in teams on solving, with me, other academics, and tutors wandering around the room to help you with this. Now, we are planning to run these in person this year. Um, if you can come in person, please do. We're going to run it in a different room with much more space so we can keep social distancing, hopefully. However, we know that some of you will not be able to come in person. Um, there are some students stuck overseas who cannot come to Australia, or maybe there is some other reason why you can't come in person, and that's fine. We're also going to offer online alternatives using Microsoft Teams. But if you can come in person, it's best, so please do. After doing the workshop, um, you will I go through a set of quizzes to test you on what you've learnt and then you should prepare for the following week's workshop by doing the online lessons. And these lessons are a bunch of short videos followed by questions and then followed by a quiz to test your understanding of it and you should do that in week one for example do the week one lesson in preparation for the week two workshop. We also have labs in this course the labs will start in week two. Now, unfortunately, um, because of social distancing requirements, we actually just can't fit everybody in the labs in one week. So what we're gonna to have to do is have a rotation system, whereas half of you will do an in-person lab and half of you will do an online lab in week two, and then we'll swap around and the people who did the in-person lab in week two will do an online lab in week three and vice versa. Here is the course wattle page. Now the first thing you might want to do is the diagnostic placement test. In this course we're assuming that you have done physics and maths to year 11 and 12 and that you remember it and understand most of it. And I know many people have had very disrupted schooling for, due to COVID over the last year or two. So if you're unclear about whether your memory is good enough, do this test. It's purely voluntary, you score it yourself, and that will advise you whether you should be in this course or whether you should be in the Foundations of Physics course instead. Now if you want to stay in this course, your next step is to go down here and select a lab class and a workshop. Now this will look a bit different for you, uh, but you'll see the different workshop sessions and there's an online only session. Now if you can come in person, please do because it's better. But if you really can't come in person because you can't get to Canberra or you've got some other reason why you can't come to in-person classes, sign up for the online only class. And the same for the labs. You should install Microsoft Teams as we will use that for the online classes. Even if you're doing most things in person, you will still have to do the labs every second week online because you just can't fit everybody in. So there are instructions here about how to install it. All ANU students have a free Microsoft 365 account and you should log into Teams using this. Then you can start up Teams and it will look something like this. When you come up with the team list, you probably won't see all these teams. You won't have signed up for any and you should go up here, join or create team. And I've posted a code on Wattle. You can see the code there, D920U2K. And you enter that code here and you'll be signed up for the Physics 1101 team. Then you can go into the team. 
and you can post questions here. Um, you can get a, a mobile phone app or anything like this. So if you're stuck on a piece of homework or you don't know about how things are going to work, just post here and you'll generally get a very rapid response. If you'd rather communicate with the staff, me, privately, you can go to chat and start a chat with me. You can see lots of other students have started chats with me. Just enter my name, Paul Francis, and then you can do one-on-one -on -one chats. But if it's a question that might be of interest to other people, like I'm stuck on question four, or um, is the assignment deadline really on Friday? If you're wondering about this, probably another 100 people in the class are also wondering about it. So if you put the post here, everyone else can read it. Now, when uh, an online class starts, one of the online labs, or if you can do it online, uh, the online workshops, you will see here a big dark blue bar with a meeting called Welcome. And there's a Join button, and you should join that and that will start up a video chat and you can then join the class. So when it's time for an online class, online lab or an online workshop, go into Teams, go into Physics 1101 and you'll see a big meeting here and join that. If we scroll down, we'll see what you'll do in week one. We've got the workshop here. We will give you handouts in person if you're doing it, but you can look at this ahead of time if you want to, entirely optional. After doing the workshop, you should do this post-workshop quiz, and you've got to do it before 10 p.m. on the following Sunday. And you should also then do the pre-reading lessons before the next week's workshops. This is the week one section, so the week one pre-reading lessons must be done before the week two workshop. Starting in week two, there are labs. Depending which group you signed up for, you'll either be doing it online in week two and then in person in week three, or the other way around, and you'll find full instructions here. So hopefully that's everything you need to know. Come along to the first workshop, sign up um, for a, a workshop slot, and I'll see you in class, either in person or virtually.